Alright, he's trying to stay out of sight. From my, from my, uh, I guess no one's here because the lights were off. But, I don't know. It's unusually quiet. No ammo anywhere. Come on, someone could be trying ammo. Please. That's a nice augment you have there. I'm gonna run over here in a minute. Oh, wait, 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 uh, Peps. Alright, this is a boss fight, so I'm pretty sure using lethal force doesn't matter. So let's try you. Wait, 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 wait. I want to. That's nine. Nine! Uh. Gee. Oh, shit. Bang. I can't see either, to be fair. No grenades! Ow! Did I die? I died. How did I die? Try again. Skip you. Peps. I forgot I had Peps, by the way. F. Move. <laughs> Not really. Two grenades. Oh, I remember something. Get up here, get up here, get up here, get up here, get up here. Yes. Uh, hack you while Barrett just flails around down there. Hack. There we go. Stuck out everything, stop you. Open doors. Bang.
vodka, shotgun, don't need either of those. Whiskey, don't need that either. Looks like a Jack Daniels bottle. No grenades. Run away. Mm, and I'm happy to learn. Where is he? Guess he can't breathe in gas. Uh, want that. Uh, no, thank you. Right, get up. Run away. Uh, eight. Does that work? Happens cabinet. Frag grenade. They're shotgun, they don't need shotguns. I really don't want a frag grenade. Uh gee. Ow, move. What should be there is that. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, grenades. Ha 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 ha. Oh shit. G. Come on. Come on. Run away. Uh, you. Just that one. No, not that one. That was the wrong one. Ooh, door. Uh. Hi. Ooh, double arrow sword. Oh, shotgun. I think he just killed himself. I did not kill him. Hold on, hold on. Sorry to get you short there. Don't want that. Got hot. You all right? Fine. That's me to Sarah. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there. None of that is useful to me. 
Now, if that is useful to me, so run around and look for ammo. Can't believe they would give you, send you into a fight without first giving you ammo. You have to get it in the fight. Oh, this is going to be fun. Machine pistol, tranquilizer, ten millimeter. Don't want a revolver. Don't need that. Combat rifle, keep ten millimeter. Chuck in the deep end with a paddle. <laughs> Ugh. Let's try and hack you now. That I just thought I'd be chucked in the deep end with a, well, without a paddle is like being chucked in the deep end with a paddle. Access Nearly had to use quick stop there. <laughs> oh, more hacking! Yay! Oh, practice. Okay. Well, let's get that. Just two of those, two of those, and one of those, and one of those left. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's carry on. Let me just reload everything so that's full. That's got the left. Uh, reload you, you're full. Reload my peps. Just holster you for now. <laughs> Going up. Can't jump in elevators, which sucks. I never actually tried jumping in a lift before, though. That was there the entire time. Okay. Is that everything? My friends that sold me stuff, are they still here? They are. Hi. Yo. Buy items. Grenade, nah. Ammo, what ammo you got? Crossbow. Nah. You ready to get out of here, Jensen? Yes. Yeah, take us back to Sarah Industries. Let's go! I'll hold on to the back. What's up, Frank? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That's 
signal you shut down in DRV territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is a fool. Clearly, you told Sarah. See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen. And this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarah created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access, and was streaming a lot of data through it, shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested it. Okay. Yes. Don't need any wine. Alright, um... Sure, let's go see what Sarah has to say. May have jumped a little bit too far. Oh, oops. Damn it! I'm getting lost. Oh, there's two here as well. I need to do recoil reduction. All right, so we're gonna go talk to Sarah and then probably end the episode. This is gonna be interesting. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen. Excuse me. Sir, do you have that charity dinner? In a moment, I think. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. Not interested. Oh, you manage for us. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David. Really? I'll keep that. This is your... Sir? What happened to me? Ah, oh, I imagine. Stay cool. Sir, Mr. Taggart. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding Let's question him. I'm not interested, really. All right, Sarah. Richard says he's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Double Alpha. Paranoid, but I got to admit, I'm wondering what was in it too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now, and the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. Should have saved it. No more beta. Let's 
Let's see if this works. You're right. And maybe Pritchard's paranoia is rubbing off on me. It's just that the timing seems so strange. Right before you hired me? Don't you think it might be more than a coincidence? I guess I can see why you think that, given everything you've been through recently. Did that work? Is, it did. I've had a lot of other things on my mind. I'm trying to secure a future here for all of mankind. I can't let trivial security concerns get in the way when people like Bill Tagger want to see me fail. No, you're my best warrior, Adam. And I, and I trust you. I know the loyalty you've shown. We will only continue as we take this fight into the future. Because that's what's really important, isn't it? The future. More beta. Let's, let's try that. If you want me to win this war for you, I need to know how badly we've been compromised. I need to know what was in that data stream in case our enemies accessed it. You think they could have? Did that work? I see your point, son. That might be bad. Your concerns about yes. the being compromised won't really be an issue as long as we stay strong and work together as a team. That's all I've ever tried to do here. Find the best, most qualified people I can and bring them all together so they can complement each other. Well, Megan understood that. That's why she suggested I hire you in the first place. To help this little family of ours survive. Very much alpha. He's very high alpha. He's also a beta. I like working here. The things you stand for, the way you handle your people, all of it strikes a chord with me. I want to be a part of it to help you make this company great, but you're backing me into a corner. I'm going to have to quit. Adam, 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 wait. You can't leave us. We need you. Now more than ever. Did it work? All right. Yes. The truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. So Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look. I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. Okay. If you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Let's check out that stuff. <laughs> Gang down. Come on, hurry up. That's fine. This one. Should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. 
Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I did. <laughs> GG. Do I have to check out this guy? Apparently. Oh, book. Okay. Stuff. I was on the park protected, Harry. Food. Always useful. Okay. Uh, well, next time we'll go up and see Sarif. And we'll continue on with the story, I think. Have I already been in here? No, because she's in here already. Okay, no, it's quite a lot of stuff yet. Um, yeah, so next time we'll go talk to Sarif. We now we've sorted out that. Uh, we just check my missions. Got the secondary objective done. Okay, so yeah, we've got to go talk to Sarif once we're done. Until then. I will take a break and I'll see you next time. So, goodbye Cubs.